So, Quan Chitam, thank you for this talk with us. How are you feeling today? Uh, always good, always good. Always blessed to wake up, you know, play another day of basketball. Tough loss on Sunday against Girona. How is the atmosphere here today? Um, yeah, I think it probably was one of the worst losses of the year. But um, as you know, we're a team that has already went through a lot of adversity. So I feel like this loss right here, I feel like after the talk we had Tuesday, I feel like we're ready to move into the right direction now. Yep. What were the keys uh, for that loss? How do you explain that match against Girona? Um, well, you know, it's all it's always hard playing against a team with a new coach because you don't really know their, like, it's hard to scout them because, I mean, their head coach hasn't been in the league in a while, yeah. so not really knowing their plays. But I just feel like individually we knew that they were a, a really good offensive rebounding team, and we let up, I believe, 18 offensive rebounds as a team. So, I mean, just not focused from the jump. And, you know, um, when you let teams in the ACB, no matter who it is, get a little um, a little advantage, you know, with the yeah. home crowd. You know, they were, I think, lost seven of the last eight, so just – They felt more um, confident, and we just never could really get into the game. Yeah. This has been a weird season for you so far because um, you started playing very well, but only one victory out of the nine first matches, then four victories out of six, and now one out of five. Why this lack of uh, regularity? Um, man, you know, that's a great question, but, you know, um, All I can think of, you know, is the ACB, you know, like any given night, any team can win. You know, if, if you're not, if you make the wrong mistakes for the, let's say, two, three minutes in a row, that can come back to bite you. And, you know, um, yeah, like I said, we had our good moments and we had our bad moments, but the coach is really starting to preach to us that we need to just stay consistent, you know, like no ups and downs throughout the whole game. You know, just if you're on the bench, you need to be in the game also cheering and then be ready to come to the game when your number is called. So I feel like. We really established some set stuff, you know, to finish out this these next two games before the break, and then we'll have time to practice and really hone in and finish the season out stronger. I talked to you uh, right after making your best ever performance in the ACV in 70 matches. It was against uh, Zaragoza. In that match, if I don't remember wrong, you made 23 points, uh, 28 uh, credits of efficiency, an unbelievable match. And this year, you are making your, your best stats in, in, in your three years in, in the ACV, in three-point uh, shots, in two-point shots, in assists, in rebounds. Why? Why this, uh, why this performance from you this year? Um, I don't know. I mean, I can credit it to a, a lot of things. You know, it's just a buildup of, you know, putting in the work in the summertime and then having the confidence from everybody here on the team to be able to come in and just be me. Like, everybody knows that I was a great three-point shooter at Fon Labrada, but I wanted to expand on that. And I would say last year in Italy, my head coach there, uh, Yasmin Repesha, he has told me that if I want to excel and get to higher levels, I need to play in the low post also as well. So just trying to, you know, be more efficient in the two-pointers and, um, you know, rebounding. I, I'm pretty tall for my position, so I feel like I have an advantage there. I just have to be more aggressive every single night to get those. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm here trying to do what's best for the team. You know, I'm not one of the main scouted guys, but I just try to do my job as best as possible. You know, I have the, the trust of the coaching staff as I lead the league in the ACB in minutes. So, I mean, I just try to give my all. And at the end of the day, as long as I know that I went out there and played 100%, I'm happy with whatever performance I have. You nearly answered my, my next question because I was going to ask you about your evolution as a player because in Fuenlabrada you were um, a very good three-point shooter. But now, all, all that we talked about, uh, you are uh, in the low post, you've been very important in the assists. And yeah, what, what are the keys for this, for this evolution? And, and if Pablo Pin, your coach here, has had any effects on that? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean... When I knew that in the summertime I had interest and me and Pablo talked for about 15 to 20 minutes and he told me what he wanted out of me. And he said, like, he knows, everybody knows that I'm a great three-point shooter, but he wants to use me inside as well to take advantage of my size. You know, that a lot, a lot of teams are going to switch on me because they can't let up the three. So he wanted to establish that. So being back home in Pittsburgh, I, I worked out with my trainers and I was really heavily just getting more confident in the post and more eff um, efficient around the rim and better – touch because I knew I was going to get put in those situations this year. Another one of the records you have this year is uh, the minutes you're playing because you're one of the players in the ACV that plays most minutes. You're playing 31 minutes per match. And 
I don't know if you're happy with this or you think that it could be in in some matches when when the the season advances a problem in terms of uh, of your body if it can have a a bad effect on you playing so much. Right. Um. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I think I think I think everybody would want to play a lot of minutes here in the here in the ACB, but also you got to understand that I'm 28 and I'm not a small person so and, i mean and the thing is we only play one game a week so i mean i have that benefit of rest yeah. but also it's like you know like i enjoy playing out there and of course like i mean if i can decrease my minutes to help the team like we can like for sure i would do that but i know that coach trusts me at this position to play those 30 minutes a game and you know just give my all and that's all i can do about it i can't worry about being um getting injured or anything happen in the future i just have to like every single day i take care of my body and do the things necessary to prepare me for the games on the weekend and would you be happy to have uh, like mm, more players fighting for the power forward position um yeah of course i mean because i think i love competition you know like i, I have i have now david Iriate, the captain who yeah. we all we made an agreement that we're going to go 100 every single day on the practice and we're just going to try and make each other better. And it was this, this, this um, same with Arthur when he was here. Like, he was a young kid who I loved practicing against because I, he was able to pick my, my brain and I was able to help him. And, um, yeah, like, I, I, would, I love competition. I, I love being able to just go out there and play. And, you know, of course, I would, I would want another person in here to, like, help us. But at the end of the day, I have to control what I can control. So if we don't have anybody here, me and David are going to keep going at it and trust what the coaching staff thinks. Yep. Okay, coming back to Sunday's match, I understand it might be um, part of the frustration of uh, of not being doing a, a good match in terms of, of the team. You weren't having your, your best match uh, too. Uh, what happened in that last quarter? Because you seem a little bit angry with the with the coaches. I, I understand it's nothing personal, but how, how was it? Oh man, it was just, you know, it was just a lot of just frustration throughout the whole game, just for me and multiple players. And, you know, um, you know, it's just, that's that's not the way to react and I realized that and I had to talk with Pablo after that and like he's like I told him it's nothing personal it's just like yes I, w I wasn't having the best match so I kind of expressed my frustration in a, in a wrong way to all the coaches and my t um, teammates and I apologize for that and they all accepted it so just trying to move on like I said from Tuesday was just we all had a great talk and we established some set rules that we need to Put, uh, in four so we, we can finish out the season strong. Yeah, it, it speaks well of you, this uh, this that you say. Pablo said uh, after the match that he had no problem uh, with you and and it was just 10 minutes uh, sure. after the match had finished. Uh, he said, Juan is a very honest uh, man and and I know it's part of the frustration. You tell me so, so no problems no, in, sure. uh, in that way. So, well... Um, you have to keep going uh, this Sunday in a very important match against uh, Manresa. You tell me, how important is it to beat Manresa on Sunday? Oh, man, it's very important. You know, it's, it's another home game in front of these amazing fans. And, you know, um, like I said, any given day, any single ACB team has an opportunity. You know, I really like our chances. We've been practicing well. So, you know, if we can just stick to the game plan and stay focused and limit our mistakes for 40 minutes, I feel like it, it'll be a great game. Okay. Uh, Quan, you have uh, one more year of contract here. Are you happy here in Granada? Do you wish to to keep playing one more year here? Oh, I'm very, very, very happy to be here. You know, my wife and my two kids love it here with the great weather and just the fans. They're, they're all heartwarming. You know, that my kid, they all love it here. So for sure, like th this will for sure be on my mind when it has to come time to make that decision. So these fans, uh, you know, you know, you've become an idol here in in no time. Uh, really wish too that that you stay here uh, next year. What can you tell them, and what can you tell about playing in the in the Palacio? It's uh, the fifth uh, arena in the ACB with the most attendance. So, well, talk about playing with this uh, with this incredible crowd. Right. I mean, just from the jump, just me getting the information from Pablo in the beginning that it took ten years to get from the fifth league all the way to the ACB. I think that speaks to the city and the people with within the club. You know, it's just. They really are like it's like a family, like like what I yeah. what I tell everybody. It's like from Oscar on down. It's just like you have any problems, you go to them. They will handle anything that you know. It's just like with me coming over to a new country with my wife and my two small kids. Like they just 
made us feel comfortable and they set us up with great amenities for everything. And it just was like, that's one less thing that I have to worry about. And I'm able to put my full like heart and everything onto the court without having to worry about off the court stuff, you know, like just, like I said, speaking from the fans, you know, I mean, they feel this place no matter what, how we're playing. And it's just like, it's all just positivity. You know, it's like they expect the win, but if they know if, if you're out there playing your butt off and hustling and, and aggressive, they're, applauding you so you know that's always a great feeling because you know you can't win every single game and you know um but I really want to win some important games for this crowd because I just know what this city is like just hearing about how it was last year when you guys saved the season and the big parade in the city with the bus and everything like that'll be amazing you know just to experience that but I want even more I want to get to the 12th 11th spot and get them into Europe for next year like I, that's what I, I like truly want because I feel like this city deserves it Okay. And, uh, well, the last question, I, I think you've already answered this, but this is the most important question. How convinced are you that Granada stays in ACV for next year? Um, strongly convinced, man. You know, I just, you know, um, we finish out these two games, then we have a good two weeks to really break down and figure out where we can get better at and everybody can get the rest that we need and we can add in some pe um, pieces if that's what they want to do so we can finish. I think we have... 12 games after the break um so i mean like i said it's gonna be fun week in and week out because i know that this league anything can happen so i'm really strongly convinced that we can save the league this year quanchidan thank you very much it was a great talk no thank you i appreciate it thank you